Hi guys, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live and I have another company that I'm bringing to you today called High Tide. Now, this is a company that's actually a vertically integrated Alberta-based downstream cannabis corporation focused on manufacturing and wholesale distribution of smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products. Their symbol in Canada on the CSE exchange is HITI. The symbol on the OTC exchange is HITIF. The symbol in Frankfurt, Germany is 2LY. Their market capitalization is around 70 million. Shares outstanding are at 207 million. Their average daily volume is around 583,000 shares. They currently have 173 employees and their total revenue is around $15.9 million. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna go over some of the details of this company because I think it has a lot of potential. And it's currently trading right now as we speak at 21 and a half cents in America with very little volume, which means very few people even know this company exists yet. And in Canada, it's trading right now as we speak at 29 cents, and it's only traded as far as volume today very small volume, 84,000 shares. So it's very, very small volume, which leads me to believe that very few people know that this company's out there yet, which could be a great buying opportunity for investors. Now, I wanna to talk to you about some of the key points of High Tide. First of all, they have been in the business for 10 years. They have 10 years of retail experience. They are in a major bricks and mortar and e-commerce player vertically integrated to capture accessory margins. Stores are stocked with cannabis products and proprietary accessories, and they are an operator and a franchisor. So there is franchise possibilities with High Tide. So the potential for High Tide has so much upside. What makes them unique and different? 10 year head start on the industry, selling accessories to cannabis enthusiasts only company that manufactures and designs thousands of its own smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products. That is a huge, huge selling factor. Now, some of their competitors are big names and brands like Medman, Fire Flower, Green Lane, and Bob HQ. On the retail side, they acquired Grass City, a 22-year-old business and they are looking to grow by acquiring other companies. So they have an acquisition model. They have a very difficult to replicate business. Their wholesale side, Raj has been able to create a network of manufacturers and agents to make products in China, figured out who are high quality factories and who are not, smuggled glass blowers over to China, trained them to make glass to their standards, Accumulated 10 licenses now, which is hard to get and take time. On the retail side, there are six companies trying to max out on locations in Canadian provinces. High Tide, Fire Flower, National Access Cannabis are three in the lead. Other companies will be relevant, but smaller. As far as their share structure is concerned, they've got Fully diluted shares outstanding of 250 million, 250 million 600,000 and 20. Fully diluted 255 million warrants plus options. Convertible debentures and warrants attached are at 75 cents. Convertible debentures and warrants are also at 85 cents. So they're currently at much higher prices, which gives everybody huge upside. Now, as far as the share price history, they have not been public long and the charts don't look the greatest yet. Their highest price so far has been 63 cents, currently at 29 cents in Canada. So this could be signaling a great buying opportunity. The company structure is in two segments. They've got a wholesale business and they have a retail business. The retail is larger than the wholesale and it continues to grow the design and manufacture in the wholesale side, and then put the accessories on sale in the retail stores. Saskatchewan is the only province you can buy cannabis online, no government intervention. That's why Canna Cabana sells online in Saskatchewan. Grass City is only online. They are the Amazon of smoking and cannabis. Wholesale feeds retail. 
accessories manufactured in wholesale side and then sold in the retail side. So as far as their share structure, their three year revenue forecast, we don't really want to forecast that yet because it's difficult to forecast considering it's so new. When profits are expected, they're expected to be in the positive by late 2020. All open stores are generating revenue and the financial forecast will be coming out shortly. Now, when you look at the company and you can see that they've been cel celebrating 10 years of business in 2019, they've got some really unbelievable partners on the wholesale side with RGR Canada and famous brands, Canada's premier distributor and manufacturer of cannabis accessories, 27,000 square feet facility in Calgary, Alberta, 4,300 SKUS with 75% of catalog manufactured in-house to maximize margins, an exclusive global manufacturers and distributors of licensed smoking accessories in partnership with celebrity brands like Snoop Dogg, Cheech and Chong, and Guns N' Roses. That's huge. Celebrity partnerships like Snoop Dogg? Cheech and Chong and Guns N' Roses. I mean, those are some big names. On the retail side, they're a bricks and mortar business focused on relationships with Canna, Cabana, and Kush Bar. They are positioned to become one of Canada's largest cannabis retail networks, launched in 2018, 17 currently branded locations, and 20 under various stages of construction, retrofitting existing stores for top tier speed to market being deployed selectively to leverage existing real estate partnerships, establishing a recognized and successful brand of four retail locations in Alberta and more in Ontario in the near future. Now on their retail side, Grass City is already online and they are one of the largest chains of cannabis accessory stores in Canada with 14 locations supplied directly by RGR, eight franchises, and six corporate stores. Seven former locations have been converted to current Canna Cabana stores. Headquartered in Amsterdam, GrassCity.com is the world's premier online store for smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products with approximately 5.8 million site visits annually. So this is a company that is just getting started, guys. They've been around for 10 years, but they've only been public for a short period of time. That's why the stock hasn't done very well. The legal recreational cannabis market is expected to generate sales of up to $4.34 billion in 2019, and High Tide intends to be a major player that participates in all of that. Okay? So their total assets right now are actually $47.7 million and their revenue at 15.9 million with a gross margin of 5 million in revenue. They are manufacturing and wholesale distribution of smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products, developing the largest cannabis retail network in Canada. So that's some big statement. Their vision is to grow organically and through acquisition to become a valuable retail focused vertically integrated enterprise with global operations. I absolutely love their vision. Now let's talk about some of the company's goals. The short-term goals are to continue construction and opening more retail cannabis stores, convert LOIs into fully executed projects. So taking letters of intent that they've put together with partners and actually developing those LOIs into real business that can generate revenue which is very exciting. Establish a retail presence in all applicable Canadian provinces, hire talented people to help lead, operate and grow the organization and foster positive relationships with governments at all levels and local communities. Build great brands through responsible customer relationships, play a key role in shaping a world leading Canadian cannabis industry and deliver shareholders an industry leading ROI and earn premium multiples as a public company through strategic stewardship, disciplined capital allocation, and strong governance. I love those goals. I think that these goals are 
very realistic, and they are definitely on the right track. And this is why I wanted to bring this company to you guys today, is to really show you that this is a company that may be very undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And that's what we do here at Rich TV Live. We try to bring you stocks at the bottom before they explode. Like I said to you, this has been as high as 63 cents. It's currently at 29 cents in Canada. The lowest it's been is 27 and a half cents. So the way my brain thinks is, you wanna buy low and sell high, and right now high tide is very close to the bottom. Now, they've got differentiated leadership. High quality retail focus, they really focused on the retail side, corporate and franchise. And I haven't seen too many companies focused on doing franchises. So this is pretty interesting. And I think it separates High Tide from a lot of other LPs in the sector because I haven't seen too many LPs that want to focus on franchising. High Tide might be one of the first. They've got loyal customers via a strong brand and responsible brands, I apologize, many brands that they work with, responsible retail and excellent service. Margin capture through vertical integration and optimized operations, manufacturing, and distribution. They want to continue doing R&D, research and development, which is vital to the growth of the company, consumer trends and product manufacturing, really focused on what is the trend, you know, is CBD hot, is hemp hot, is flower hot, whatever is hot, High Tide wants to be focused on that trend, which I think is brilliant. They want to focus on building customer education, which I think is going to be a growing industry moving forward in this sector. Peer monitoring, monitoring all of their peers, trying to determine what is right, what is working, what is not working. They want to focus on industry evolution and government regulations, which is vital, especially with what we're hearing right now with CanTrust, who literally is reporting today to Health Canada with the fact that they have had some issues with non-compliance so it's vital that they have right in their business goals that they want to be compliant with health canada because the companies that are compliant with health canada are going to build more credibility with investors thus we will see more upside with prices accredited growth they want to really have organic initiatives and internal projects Asset acquisitions, they are focused on looking for assets they can acquire, which will allow them to acquire their growth, as opposed to growing organically, which can take a really long time, so I like that. And corporate transactions, they are looking to acquire their growth doing corporate transactions, which I think is brilliant. So, we've talked a little bit about their bricks and mortars and their retail business, their wholesale business which is very impressive. Canna Cabana, which is one of their brands, is positioned to become Canada's largest retail cannabis network. They have absolutely beautiful stores. This actually looks a lot like MedMen. MedMen has some beautiful stores in America, and the Canna Cabana stores look very similar. Very colorful, very sleek, beautiful professional looking stores, which almost looks like a like a retail shopping mall type location, you wouldn't know the difference between going to a shopping location, a high-end high designer store where you're buying clothing or walking into this cannabis location. So it's kind of interesting that they've got a really beautiful looking store that they're trying to really, that they're trying to really put out there. Canna Cabana is Canada's one-stop shop for cannabis. They really focus on premier customer service, centralized logistics management, built on data from existing customer base, industry leading employee training program enables a complete customer experience. So they're really focused on giving the customers an experience that they're going to remember, an experience that they're going to want to come back for. And I think that that's vital for repeat business. They're also focused on accessories for recreational adult use, connected to over 25,000 Canadians through social media, and now open in private jurisdictions targeting location size of 1,500 to 2,500 square feet. So they're looking to have little locations, 1,500 to 2,500 lo square feet, which will be beautiful, branded, well-trained locations with employees that understand the product 
and are going to be able to make the experience for the customers an experience that is memorable so they keep coming back for more, which I think is brilliant. So Canna Cabana currently in Alberta has 12 corporate stores, one franchise in Ontario, three branded stores. So 12 corporate stores in Alberta and one franchise in Ontario, three branded stores. In Saskatchewan, they have one corporate store and one e-commerce site. In Manitoba, they have one corporate store and an e-commerce site under development. So these guys are literally going all over Western Canada and Ontario. So Grass City is another one of their brands. It's the world's top accessory e-retailer with a 20 year history as online store, 5.8 million site visits per year, 600,000 customers in their database and 65,000 orders per year. They also have a large US customer base with 90% of orders, 90% of their orders in the United States. Their order fulfillment in Europe and North America is also happening in 2019 and a large opportunity to add new customers and products. They also have a big focus on social media and forums with 34 million unique users in Grass City forums since inception. Wow, that's impressive. 640,000 current forum members, 75 million page views per year. Wow, that's huge. And 265,000 followers on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So they have a very large presence on social media. Now, the other thing that High Tide is doing is they've, they've got a strategic rationale for the acquisition. They are really focused on acquisitions. So one of the focus, obviously, is manufacturing, design and production, and brand licensing. They've already done this with RGR brands in Canada and famous brands. The next focus is distribution. Optimized logistics ship from North America to local customers and they have multiple warehouses. As far as Grass City, they are focused on the retail side. They are established online in SEO, search engine optimization, and social media. Now, as far as their manufacturing, their sale of similar products to similar customers, their distribution has a margin expansion through vertical integration, and their retail has access to Europe for high tides wholesale segment. And we love Europe because the price of the euro is so high that the margins for these companies that are doing business in Europe are exponential. So I love the fact that these guys have a global focus and yet they're still trading at only 21 cents in America and 29 cents in Canada. Now, another one of their brands is Smoker's Corner. Smoker's Corner is a smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products company focused on doing business in 14 current locations. They have eight franchises, six corporate stores, seven previous locations being converted to Canna Cabana stores. They have a turnkey model, a CFA approved franchise program, enables rapid deployment in key markets, and they also have existing revenue. Average location generates 380,000 a year, and their top location generates an impressive 850,000 a year. Today, Smoker's Corner is one of Canada's largest counterculture chains with 13 existing locations, one new location opening in, in the first quarter of 2019, scalable franchise model that has the ability to grow exponentially. Now, Smoker's Corner has been in business for 10 years of retail expertise. So they've been doing this for a long time and they've developed a model that works, okay? So they have existing relationships, over 170,000 annual retail customer interactions, 12 municipalities across Alberta, British Columbia, and Nova Scotia, landlords and commercial real estate brokers. Their operating costs are focused on staffing levels and wages, retail leases and insurances, Verti vertically integrated infrastructure enables cost management. So these are guys that know exactly what they're doing. They've been doing it for 10 years and they have every area of the business 
figured out from staffing to vertical integration to insurance. And that is the key to running a successful business. You gotta have every single I dotted and every single T crossed. Their inventory management is vital and very, very well managed. Initial orders and new store requirements, lead times for ongoing replenishment, optimization of SKUs, and innovation and high quality merchandise. Franchises, they have franchises, master franchise agreement and other key agreements, back office administration and training and support. So they provide training and support for their franchises, back office administration, and they have an agreement in place as the key element with their franchisees as a master franchise agreement and other key agreements between every single franchise, which is vital so that everybody knows exactly the lay of the land. Now, another one of their brands is called Kush Bar, which is their next retail cannabis concept. It's modern, it's open, and it's relaxed, and it's absolutely stunning. The, the views of what Kush Bar looks like, I mean, this looks like a beautiful, beautiful retail store. You would never know it's a cannabis company. There's four locations currently under construction. High Tide is definitely on the verge of something special here. Now, another one of their brands is called Famous Cannabis Cafe. They do vape, edibles, accessories, and munchies. And because edibles is getting legalized October 17, 2019 here in Canada, and will be able to start selling in December, this could be the right time to position yourself in High Tide, which has a focus on edibles. Now their wholesale segment is focused with RGR Canada and Famous Brands, two of the brands which we've talked about. Now RGR Canada nationally has a distribution network which extends from their 27,000 square foot facility in Calgary, Alberta. They have exclusive manufacturing contracts with industry leading factories in China, the United States and the European Union. Once again, they've been in business for 10 years, experience in the design and branding of cannabis accessories that sell. And they have 4,300 SKUs, extensive product catalog with 75% manufactured in-house. RGR Canada has a selection of proprietary brands. Beautiful glass called Atomic. They've got more glass bongs called Dopezilla. They've got some beautiful glass called Evolution. <laughs> I love this line called Puff Puff Pass. That's probably very popular just because of the name. They've got another line of glass called Vodka and another line of glass called Zoom Zoom. And this is beautiful looking glass packaging bongs that they have, that they're offering. Now, some of the most famous licenses and brands and partners that they're working with are just huge names like Snoop Dogg, which is working with Pounds Smoking Accessories, Cheech and Chong, which is working with, obviously their brand is called Up in Smoke, which is working with Sublime, the Trailer Park Boys, which obviously is very famous, and even Hellboy and Guns N' Roses. So some really big, big famous names that are affiliated with High Tide and some of their brands. Famous products, brands from the famous brands include Snoop Dogg Pounds, Trailer Park Boys, Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke, Jay and Silent Bob, just to name a few. And they literally have glass products with the faces of some of these brands on their glass products. So imagine you got a bong and you've got Ricky on your bong. I mean, this is pretty cool. You got Julian on your bong. You got all these different famous celebrity actors that you can actually have on your bong. So that's pretty cool. Now, another partnership that they have and brand is called Famous Brands CNG Sales, Famous X, a lifestyle accessory line for convenience, gas station, and specialty retailers featuring licensed and proprietary smoking products. Trailer Park Boys and Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. 
and they've got some amazing, amazing products that you guys can look at that are just so impressive and so, so sleek looking. Now their management team, the founder, president, and chief executive officer is Raj Grover, which I referred to Raj earlier. Just to read a little bit about the founder, Mr. Grover is the founder of High Tide and its subsidiary companies of RGR Canada, Smokers Corner, and Canna Cabana, while also being the co-founder of High Tide. Newest subsidiary, famous brands, Raj started Smokers Corner in 2009 and RGR Canada in 2011 and has been operating as a pioneer in the cannabis accessories industry ever since. Currently, he is a national franchisor and entrepreneur with 17 years of experience in building and selling successful companies. Mr. Grover leads the industry in manufacturing capabilities and has built the largest network of comparable retail stores in Canada. In his personal time, Raj is passionate about supporting children's charities that benefit the underprivileged and those struggling with health issues and other life challenges. Well, I love the fact that he's got to focus on charities. That's just great. So you can take a look at the management team. Raheem Kanji is the chief financial officer. Nick Kuzik is the chief strategy officer. And Alex McKay is the chief operating officer. And Andy Palalaz is the chief revenue officer. You can take a look at their board of directors, their team of advisors. So they have a very strong team that they've been building out for quite some time. Now their strategic partners, as far as their retail buildouts, are Holland Design, Formula Four Projects, and Leading Edge Developments Inc. Their technology partners are Kova, Elevate Your Dispensary Experience, Sage X3, Baker, and as far as security, ADT. In finance, they are strategically partnered with ATB Financial, Canaccord Genuity, which everybody usually typically, especially startup companies that are public, typically get funding from Canaccord. So that's not a surprise. First Republic Capital, Laurentian Bank Securities, well that's a nice name to see on there, and Mackey Research. As far as legal, they are receiving support, well there's some big names here, from Garfinkel Beard, Garfinkel Biederman, Hui and Company. Notable investors are, wow, some big investors, Aurora Cannabis, Afria, and FSD Pharma. Once again, notable investors are Aurora Cannabis, one of the biggest in the world, Afria, another one of the biggest global players in the world, and FSD Pharma, a smaller company that has a lot of potential. They also have government relationships with Sutherland Corporation Limited. Their auditor is MNP LLP, and they are growing by acquisition. So they've got a real big focus on growing through acquisition which I love. They have a goal of growing the retail and distribution business by acquisition domestically, as well as in the US, European Union, and elsewhere as appropriate through various segments. Thousands of existing customer relationships, over 300 vendors in a current database. They have industry partnerships, also yield transaction opportunities, currently assessing several accredited acquisitions in the manufacturing, wholesale and retail sectors across Canada. So stay tuned to the news. There's a lot of new big news coming for High Tide. Now, just to just go over some of the recent news that they've had, let's break it down since the beginning. Oh, I'm just gonna go through some of the recent news. July 3rd, 2019, High Tide announces Canna Cabana now selling cannabis in Grand Prairie with 10 more Alberta stores to follow shortly. On June 29, 2019, High Tide reports results for second quarter 2019, featuring a 325% increase in revenue over the same period last year. So this is a company that is growing aggressively, exponentially, okay? I'm not gonna go through all the news, but just some of the recent news. Um, June 26, 2019, High Tide upgrades Grass City to Magento to e-commerce platform. 
And on May 24, 2019, High Tide acquires retail cannabis store and e-commerce business to enter the Saskatchewan market. So you can see there's a huge flow of news that just keeps coming with High Tide. And I think with some of these partnerships that they have, the team they have in place, and the fact that they're a vertically integrated business, I just believe the High Tide has a great future. I really do. I really do. So their shares outstanding, once again, issued and outstanding are 206,846,892 as of July 15th, 2019. So this is pretty updated. And the potential shares from stock options are 11,235,000. The potential shares from exercise of warrants are 43,317,327. And their potential shares from conversion of debentures are 30 million. 520,000, giving them a fully diluted common shares outstanding of 291,919,219 total shares totally diluted. Now, they have an exercise price of 50 cents per share, a weighted average exercise price of 69 cents per share, a conversion price of 75 cents per share. This is breaking down their options and their warrants and a pro forma cash proceeds of 35 million if options and warrants are fully exercised. So the good news here is if they get all of their options and warrants fully exercised, they are going to get an additional infusion of $35 million that will go into the company's treasury. So that's all very good news. So as far as an investor, why would you want to invest? Well, these are the key reasons. They have a compelling investment opportunity in the downstream cannabis as a downstream cannabis leader. They are experienced, a loyal built-in audience across Canada and nearly a decade of retail experience. They are flexible. They have a franchise infrastructure backed by financing for the fastest deployment in the country. They are stocked up. They are a manufacturer, distributor, and retailer's perspective on the hottest cannabis products and accessories. So they got their thumb on the pulse, which leads me to believe, and I'm sure it should lead you to believe, that they have huge upside potential considering they're trading at 29 cents with all these huge partnerships. I think the sky's the limit for a company like High Tide. They're healthy. They have a strong balance sheet and a history of growth through retained earnings, and they have a lot of locations ahead of the industry on leasing, municipal outreach, and quality of locations. And I'm sure you will see with some of the different things that we're gonna show you behind me here that they've got beautiful locations. So that is High Tide. I think this is a company that has huge potential. I believe them to be underappreciated, undervalued, and underexposed. And I believe they have incredible potential. They are currently right now trading at uh, just under 22 cents in America. H-I-T-I-F is the symbol in America. And they're currently trading right now 117,000 shares in volume. So there's been a little bit of a volume spike since we've been talking about them, which is nice to see. And in Canada, we can see here that, let's see if it's changed at all since we've been doing this video. Yeah, so they've actually just come down, creating another buying opportunity. So they are currently trading at 27 and a half cents, have traded 146,000 shares in volume today. So they are literally trading at the bottom right now. The lowest they've ever been is 27 cents. They're currently at 27 and a half. So if you're looking for a buying opportunity, you are literally looking at high tide right now at a bottom. So we've seen them as high as 63 cents. We've seen them as low as 27, currently at 27 and a half. We love to find bottoms here at Rich TV Live, and I believe that high tide might be at a bottom. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share this video everywhere. This is Rich from Rich TV Live, bringing you high tide, H-I-T-I -I in Canada, H-I-T-I-F in America, Thank you for watching. I would love to know what your opinion is on High Tide. Do you like it? Is there something that you want to know about High Tide? Do you have any questions for me? 
put your comments in the description down below. If you own it, please let me know. If you like it, please let me know. If there's something you don't like about it, please let me know. I would love to do more due diligence and I love getting your involvement and your feedback. So please let me know what you guys think about High Tide, a company that's been around for 10 years, but is strictly just getting public right now and is essentially trading at the bottom. And I think it has huge upside. This is Rich from Rich To Be Live, bringing you High Tide. Thank you very much. Have yourself a nice day.